for some people to join in here. Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Give everybody a couple minutes here. I have a notebook with my things written on it. Can I move it over? All right. Give people a couple minutes to join in here. Saturday morning. Might be a little hard to wake up, get out of bed. Beautiful day, though. Absolutely beautiful day. Hey, friends. I see my friends on here. It makes me happy. Glad you guys are joining me. Jen, thank you for joining us. Thanks for uh, telling some people about it. That's awesome. You're awesome. Give everybody a few more minutes. Hey, Brady. What's going on, buddy? All right. I never know how long to wait here. I'll give it till 10.02. Do 10.02. I like that number. 10.02. <laughs> nothing much Brady same same man nothing much going on for me either might be the vibe everybody's riding with today <laughs> all right hey Ben how's it going all right it is not 10.02 yet but I want to get going it'll probably happen in like 10 seconds be 10.02 we'll start we'll start moving Okay, 10.02. So, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a relaxation session with Ultimate Obstacles. I'm your host, Coach Mary. <laughs> so, today it is Saturday morning. It is a beautiful day out there. So, today what I like, I want the focus to be is just checking in with ourselves, making sure we're not holding tension from the week, make sure that when we went to bed last night, we let stuff go, making sure there's nothing lingering or hanging out that's settling in our bodies. That mind-body connection is so important. Um, Coach Eric made a really great point in his workout when he was talking about this. You know, having that mind-body connection, it, it's not only beneficial to help you recognize when you're holding tension and holding stress in your bodies, which is not healthy, but it's also really good when you start going back to your more intense workouts because you want to be aware of what your body is doing as you're executing movements, especially when you have weights. So um, super important to get this exercise in, beneficial all around, not just to reduce stress, but to help you as you go through all of your other workouts too. So today we are actually gonna start on our backs. So go ahead and lie down, keep your knees up for now. Um, again, the camera angles of Instagram Live's videos are great. So um, hands at your sides, go ahead and put the palms facing down. And before we start, I want to say one more thing. Um, you may be just getting up. Maybe you already did your workout. Maybe you've been moving around a little bit. Just a reminder, if you're just rolling out of bed to do this, be gentle with your body. Um, if you've been up and moving around and you're feeling good, obviously move into the movements, but we don't want pain, okay? Don't, don't do that. No bueno. Okay. So we are lying down. Hands on the ground, feet on the ground. Just rock your hips back and forth a little bit. And what I'd like you to do is before we really get into the movement today, set an intention for this workout, for this section. For me, I want these movements to energize and restore. So that's gonna be my intention with my movement today. So go ahead and pick whatever you need. Maybe you need to relax. Maybe you need to just flow. Maybe you just need time to breathe. Maybe you wanna get moving and be ready for the rest of your day. Pick a word, pick two words. Mine is energizing and restoring. Once you've taken a minute to find that word, go ahead and start moving the wrists. Just move the wrists. Start moving your ankles. You're gonna hear mine crack and pop all over. 
And then go ahead and extend your feet out. Keep that head down. Move the ankles, move the wrists. Start moving the knees a little bit, bend them up and down. Move your elbows, bring those arms up. And we want to end with our arms above the head and reach your arms up above you, reach your toes, point them towards the other side of the room, point your fingertips, really deep, deep, deep stretch, and take a big inhale, and exhale, let it all go. One more time, big, big, big stretch, reach, 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 point the toes, point the fingers, stretch it out, make your body as long as possible, and exhale. Hug your knees into your chest. Just rock, rock back and forth, maybe rock side to side. Relax that head down. Come to center and really just hug the knees into the chest. Flex and point your toes. I wish you could see my toes right now. They are flexing and pointing, moving those ankles around. Open up the knees. I'm gonna back up a little bit here so you can see a little bit better. Open up the knees, take your hands and place them on the inside of your feet. So we're gonna do what is called um, happy baby. It's a, a really great pose that I, I really like doing. So if you are on a hard surface, um, be careful with this movement, be careful with uh, your spine. So if you're on a hard surface, you might wanna stay here. If you can go a little bit deeper, go ahead and bring the knees up and out and rock side to side. This is really gonna open up your hips this morning. Go ahead and stay right here. I'm gonna fix the camera a little bit so you guys can see my face. And right here, that sun is great this morning. Right in my, right in my eyes. <laughs> All right, so from here, what we are going to do is we are going to take a nice big inhale and we are going to blow out through the lips like so. Kind of like what a happy baby does. Might feel silly, but this is really going to relax your jaw, relax your neck. One more time, big inhale. And let's do that one more time. Good. Release the legs. Go ahead and come up to seated. side to side. And go ahead and dip the chin down, start moving it around. Come to center. Take your chin, stick it forward, jut the chin out, and then tilt it up. Tilt the chin to the right. Still pushing the jaw forward. You're gonna feel a really great stretch all the way through here. Other side. This stretch is such a great way to make sure we're getting all the tension out of our neck, out of our jaw. And back to center, drop the chin down, relax. Go ahead and roll those shoulders. And then go the other way. Good. Next we're gonna go into a straddle. So legs really far apart. Doesn't have to be Olympic gymnast. Whatever you can reach is what I'd like you to do today. Um, you wanna make sure that your hips are just really securely on the ground. So, hands in front of you, and let's walk it forward. When you feel like you're 
popping up off of the ground in your hips. That's when you want to stop. sure we breathe. Just pause right here, deep breath in. Walking your hands over to the left. And if you feel your opposite hip popping up, that's where you need to stop. Hello, Casey, welcome. Walking the hands back over. Again, if you feel the hips pop, that's where you need to stop. Hey, Liz, how are you? My sisters are on here too. Hello, sisters. And breathe. This is such a good stretch. You're really going to feel it through the side. Moving back to center, enjoying this peaceful stretch. We're going to go into butterfly, feet together. Again, nothing crazy. If it hurts, that's too far. So just press into your knees with your elbows as far as you can go without causing a ton of discomfort. My sister Brianna is really good at this. I, as you can see, my knees do not touch the ground. <laughs> Deep breath in. Check in with your intention. Mine was to energize and restore. So I'm thinking about that as I'm going through these movements. Ask yourself, what was my intention? Make sure you remember and just re kind of reset it. All right, I'm going to be moving through these movements with energy and restoration in mind and then substitute whatever your intention was for the day go ahead and drop your head down and just hang there deep breath in and exhale slowly roll up. We're going to go ahead and put our feet in front of us. Shake the knees out just a little bit. Sit nice and tall. Arms above the head. And go ahead and float down and wherever you get to is okay. You may not be able to reach your toes. You may be able to go far past your toes. You don't want your back to be hunched over like the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Keep it nice and aligned so wherever your hands fall, if it's here, if it's here, here, doesn't matter. Just really feel that stretch. Keep the neck neutral. I know sometimes when I'm stretching, I jet my neck out and I hold tension there. So check in with your neck. Just release that. Send your intention to your neck. Send your intention to your hamstrings. You're going to be feeling this in your hamstrings. And go ahead and sit up. Good. So what we are going to do now is we are going to take the right leg. And I will sit this way so you can see a little bit better. We're going to put the foot over across the left side. This is really going to get a nice stretch in your IT band. So, we are just gonna keep your back nice and straight. Hug the knee into your chest. Make sure that your um, hips are staying in contact with the floor. And 
and just hold that in. We're going to take the left hand and hold on to the right knee. Take your right hand, put it right behind you. We're going to twist around, but as you're twisting, make sure that you're twisting from the base of your spine, and the last thing that should turn around is your head. There. I'm snap, crackling, and popping a lot this morning. You can tilt the head back just a little bit, get a little more stretch through the neck as well. that go ahead and switch sides take the left foot on the outside of the right knee sit nice and tall hug that knee in feel that stretch going through the IT band going into your hip right hand or on the outside of the left knee left hand right behind you and remember Rotate from the bottom of your spine all the way through the top. center. So we're going to go ahead and get up onto our hands and knees now. And we're going to do, I think, one of the best stretches you can do to wake yourself up in the morning. We're going to do some cat-cow. All right, so hands right underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips. And go ahead and just curve that spine. Look all the way up. Inhale here. Exhale round everything. Inhale, arch your spine. And when you exhale at the top of that arch, really push out all of the air and let that just push you deeper into the stretch. Through the shoulders. Inhale, touch the spine. So we are going to go into a really great shoulder stretch. So go ahead and put your hands out as if you're going into child's pose, but keep your hips high. You don't want them uh, sitting back on your feet like you typically would in child's pose. Take your right arm and place it right in front of you and drop your forehead to the right wrist, keeping your left arm extended. And this is gonna feel so good through that left shoulder you don't want to um, be out of your joint, so you don't want to be like this. You want to keep the shoulder nice and engaged. Kind of walk forward with the fingertips to get a better stretch. Make sure you tighten your core just a little bit here to support your lower back. sides so right or left forearm right in front of you on the ground drop your head to the left wrist and reach that right arm out nice breath in and exhale Right. 
So we are going to go into downward facing dog now. I'm gonna shift out a little bit so you can see a little bit more of what's going on. Go ahead and tuck your toes under, send your hips up. You're gonna be in a triangle position. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna go from downward facing dog to upward facing dog. So you are going to round your spine and then curve it up. Tilt this so you can see me a little bit better. And then round the spine again, send your hips back. Curve into upward facing dog and down. So we're gonna kind of keep moving through this. Keep breathing through this, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Drop the knees for a quick second. Go ahead and go up into a plank. You're gonna send your left leg forward in between your hands. Good. Press into this runner's lunge right here. Oh, this feels so good. Now for this next move that we're gonna do, you can drop your knee down if you would like. Um, I struggle with balance on this one, so I don't know which, I might fall over. So press into those hips. Bring your hands up to your hips. And then bring the arms up above the head. Really sink into your hips right here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Feeling the energy from your toes all the way up to your fingertips. One more deep inhale. Drop the hands down. Take your left foot, bring it back, come into a plank. And then we're gonna take the right leg forward, in between. Scooch the toes forward if you need to. Really get into that stretch. Sink your hips down. So again, you can drop the knee down to the ground if you need to for this. Bring your hands to your hips. Balance. And bring the arms up above you, reaching to the sky. You can look up if you need to. If you need to remain looking forward to keep your balance, that's okay. Sink into those hips. And exhale. Drop the hands down. So, hands and knees. Let's go into downward facing dog one more time. And walk the feet to your hands. I'm bringing my hands to my feet because I have to rotate a little bit here. Just hang here. Do the forward fold. Let everything relax. And my hair is a mess right now. <laughs> Go ahead and spread your feet apart just a little bit farther than hips distance apart and fold forward. Your hands may not touch the ground and that's okay. Let them hang. Then walk your fingers over to the left. You can hold on to your ankle, you can hold on to your shin. Hold on to your toes. Keep breathing. Just enjoy this moment of stillness. Bring your breath back to normal. We've been finding little moments of stillness throughout this session here. And it's important that you do that in your everyday life too. Sometimes in this session we were moving a little bit more, there was more energy, and then moments like right now, 
Very relaxing, very soft, very still. Find those moments in your everyday, especially right now. Hands back to center. We are going to stand up, so bend the knees, roll it up. We're gonna do my favorite standing stretch. Take a big inhale in. Arms above the head, big stretch. Tilt your hands and your body over to the right. And now rotate, drop the body forward, roll it around, this is called around the world. Bring it up on the other side. When you get to the top, arch your back. And one more time. Just breathe through this stretch wherever you need to breathe. Arch that back. Drop it down. If you get dizzy like I do, you may want to take this a little bit slower. Big inhale in. Other side. Arch that back and tilt it over. One more time. Inhale in. And exhale. Drop the arms down. Inhale in, arms up. And exhale. That is all that I have for you today, friends. I hope that you feel energized. I hope that you feel relaxed. I hope that you feel ready to take on your day. It is a beautiful day out there. Oh, I'm so excited to go outside. I'm so excited to just enjoy this lovely day on the planet. Um, so we are gonna be posting some more, or posting these workouts to our YouTube page. It's going to be, you're going to be able to find it on the website. So this workout will be up here for another 24 hours and we are going to save them so that you guys can do them um, any other time you'd like. If you really like this session, if you really like something that Coach Robert did, um, we'll have those up. We're going to be putting together some more um, workouts that we're going to post to the page, some at-home workouts that you guys can join us for. Um, we want you guys to stay healthy. We want you guys to stay well during this time. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through it together. So keep coming back. Keep watching these sessions. Um, keep doing the workouts with us. And I am so happy that you joined me today. And I hope you have an amazing day. So from all of us at the Ultimate Obstacles team, but there's only me here because social distancing, we hope you have an amazing Saturday. <laughs> Bye, guys.